you can import your bank transactions from a CSV formatted file you export from your bank website. Go to Banking and Bank Accounts. Under your bank account, click on Actions and select Upload Transactions. Click on Select File. Browse the location you saved your CSV file, select it and click Open. Once the import is complete, you will have to make some selections. If your CSV file columns are separated by comma, tabs or a specific character, and which row to import from. You will need to map the headings from your bank statement to those used in Reckon 1. Not all the fields need to be mapped. You must map your date column to Reckon 1's date column. You must map either your debit and credit columns to Reckon 1's debit and credit fields. Or if you have an amount column instead, you must map this to Reckon 1's amount field. The remaining columns are optional, but you can map them if you wish to the remaining options. Once you have finished your mapping, click on Import the file. You can now allocate these transactions to your ledger accounts. There are a few ways you can allocate transactions. You can set up transaction rules to allocate transactions based on selected criteria. You can match transactions to ones you have entered in your Reckon 1 book. And you can manually allocate your transactions as payments, receipts or transfers. Once finished, the complete status on the top right should say yes. Thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions, please go to reckon.com forward slash support.